What's up everybody, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> I was seeing if my wife would have a Anything to clip say. to add. Been out of town again, so haven't been videoing nearly as much, but we're gonna go hit some dumpsters tonight and see how things go. Okay, dumpster number one. Looks like it might have some interesting stuff in it. Let's get my gloves on and get going. If I can manage to get my gloves on, that is. I've had a pretty fun week this week. Had some fun activities go down. Celebratory parties and the like. Oh. Oh, okay, let's see. There we go. It's a little bit of aluminum right there, so. Take a Swiffer. Looks like a bunch of food junk. Huh. Well, I thought it was gonna be more exciting, but it's just that. Next up, we've got water heater place. And the steel yard is paying a penny a pound for steel right now. So, I mean, if I take that, that's a dollar. Here's another. Don't take this hot water heater. Okay. This is good though, cause this is gonna have a motor in the bottom of it and it's in an easy place to get. So let's snag this. Just a big old, what is this, a dryer? Do I have my tools? Yeah. I don't. I unloaded them the other day when we were using the truck. But I think I can get that off. Okay. Went to the gym today, did a big squat workout, and my legs are tired. I'm gonna see if I can get this thing off the top here. Nice. There we go. Oh, but this is gonna block it. And it's got, hmm. Well, <laughs> let's see if I can find anything in here. <gasps> oh yeah, that's gonna be nice. Got a little bit of brass right there. Let's just, uh, let's do this. Make that a little box for myself. And if I break this, I can get these out of here. That's some nice scrap. It looks like I've got a few of these actually. What's in here? Oh, I see some brass. Yes, I do. Look at that little brass nugget. <laughs> that was it, just trash in there now. Yep, trash. All right. You know, I might just take these two sinks and then break them open at home. Let's see. A little brass, plastic, and then throw them away. Because if I broke them here, it would maybe cause a little bit too much destruction. All right, well, I thought I saw some other scrap. Maybe that's it, maybe it's just a couple sinks. And of course, all these water heaters they threw away. There's a nice tub. Oh, my wife says there's a nice tub. There's also this. Oh, and look at that. There's a little aluminum radiator right there attached to this freezer. Grab that cord, throw it over there. Man, this dumpster is hot. Oh, it's heavy. All righty. Nice aluminum radiator. Keep walking down the row. What do we see? Lots of boxes waiting for me. A 
More water heaters. Yeah, that is a nice tub. Look at that. Wow. Okay, on to the next one. Hang on just a second. Started ripping this box open and I see a very nice piece of brass right there. I think I might be able to get it off by hand. Maybe, I'm lucky. Oh, I'm gonna be so sad if today's a day where I should have brought all my tools and I forgot them again. Seems to be a recurring theme. I forget my tools. Let's see, how could I get that off? What do I have around me that could act as a something to put that in between? Hmm. 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 Darn, that is not moving at all. Hmm. Let's see if I can just bust it. We're gonna do this. We're gonna just go. Nope, not at all. All right, well, let's see what's in the next one. Are we gonna get any loose brass? That's what I wanted to happen to this one. Maybe. Maybe I can do it. Nothing, all right. What's in here? Hey, look at that. We've got some loose brass. That's very nice. I'll take it, add it to my little pile. Move that up. My guess is there will be some more all right there. Man, what a day to forget my tools. But now I've got a plan because I got two pieces that are roughly the same. One of them will definitely break the other here. Ready? have it another piece of brass and I'm seeing some good cracks in this so I think I'm gonna bash it a few more times I can take that home and take that out at home Woo. all right uh, get that out of the way let's see what else we have like another broken toilet. Hmm. I do not see a piece of brass in this one. So that's it. Uh, ah. I kind of want to break these two now. Look at that. Beautiful. And 
I should be able to just get this piece off. That's probably not even worth it, but, oh, you know, this is dirty, very dirty maybe. All right, let's get this last one. I think that little rod right there is brass too. So we'll take that. That is our scrap haul for the day. Not for the day, for the dump. Next up, this is where we sometimes get some aluminum, but it does not look like there's gonna be any aluminum today. I'll jump in in just a second. Yeah, nothing in the back. There might be something underneath here though. Huh, it's a little piece of steel. I don't know. It's the symbol. Ray Pack, a Ream Company, Protect Shield. Yep, just some steel. Okie dokie, that was a pretty good little place. Got to bash some things apart. <sighs> Oh, might be some wires over there. Let's go see what we've got. Ooh. Let's see here. And we got a little bit of number one. Tilt that upright. A little bit of Romex. A lot of this has been stripped already, but the rest was, is this going? I think it's going. Yeah, we're going. All right, the rest was thrown out for us. Looks like we're just gonna get a handful today. Yeah, like 90% of that's all stripped already. But we got a few stragglers, which is always fun. Ooh, look at that, bright and shiny. There's another bright and shiny. I think my phone shut off because of the heat, or maybe I accidentally bumped it off, but we're at the next dumpster now. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. So, cut it off again on the way to the next dumpster. And, might be something over there. There's a big old box. And, <clears throat> An extension cord. That's nice. Just garbage in the box. Nothing here. Bunch of empty one of these guys. It sounds like there's a little bit of extra hardware or something they left behind. Nothing worth taking, but we got this. Which is good. Looks like we got a couch up here. I might take that couch. Looks pretty interesting. Uh, it's kind of heavy. Mm, that's not bad. We're taking that. We'll take that, clean that up, and sell it. Yeah, that's real nice. Look at this. Oh, oh, dang it, you're right. Never mind. Okay. There's a corner that I didn't see that was ripped and all the fluff's coming out. Yeah. Well, basically just wood in here besides that. Let's go check this one down here. <sighs> Looks like they've just finished some insulation which sometimes means there'll be a copper pipe or electrical wire. So 
let's see what we've got here. Yeah, there's a little bit of wire. That's nice. Oh, so that's stripped, but we're getting some good stuff. Not shabby. Ooh, did we get lucky? Nope. But also empty. whole bunch of, uh, what do you call that kind of stuff? That's um, like fiber optic cable, so no value in that. But we got ourselves a handful of wire. So, uh, back to the truck. What do we have here? Let's see, oh, we got a big old sectional in here. Look at that guy, holy cow. And I see a couple boxes of wires amidst all of this. Oh, let's see if we can get that. Nice, just a little bit. I see some more blue wire running through here. Oh, this is gonna be a, hmm. This will be interesting to see if I can get anything out of this. Oh, this was a pomegranate tree. Look at that, oops. See that, these are pomegranates. Huh, someone just chopped up their pomegranate tree. I gotta get over on the other side of all this. Man, that is a really nice chair other than the, well, I'll bet you this little rip right here, so I see that. That's probably when they threw this in, that happened. So, let's see what we've got down here. We've got a couple of shower doors with some aluminum around the edges. Hmm. Should have brought my tools. I could just unscrew those and take just the aluminum if I had my tools, but I don't. So, let's see if we can at least get all the wire. sinking into the dumpster here. Oh, what's that? Huh, it's got a little brass, little copper on it, a little aluminum it looks like. Take that home and break it. Oh, this pomegranate tree is making it difficult, but that's all right. You guys like pomegranates? I like pomegranates, but I only like them sometimes. I get tired of them real fast. Okay. Like right now, I'm super tired of the pomegranate tree. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna throw this down over on the side. It looks like, there we go. Oh, this, there's a lot in there. There we go, nice. Lots of wire there. <laughs> there we go. This is always good wire, I like this white stuff. How much is left in there? Eh, not too much. Let's see if I can just do this the easy way since I've got the box here. <laughs> this 
is I ended up just pulling it out anyway. There we go. That's nice. Okay. There's a good amount of wire down here. <sighs> Tell you what though, this pomegranate tree is getting on my nerves. Most of the good stuff is stripped. Here's some Romex and number one. There we go. A little bit of Romex there. A little piece of number one insulated. A couple more small bits. Yeah, hardly anything worthwhile in here. Well, this is what I would classify as junk wire, meaning I get paid like 40 to 60 cents a pound for it because there's just not a lot of copper in it. See, I'm saving a bunch of these up. I don't know why, but I have a feeling if I get a lot of these, someone will buy them in bulk for some sort of like art project. So, that's what I'm thinking there. Or I've heard that you can, if you, have all the stuff for it, you can actually, um, if you're like a blacksmith, you can turn them into knives, which would be kind of cool. Hey, there we go, it's a nice piece of Romex. Getting some flies in here, there must be some food. There's another bit of Romex. And another. Copper ring, fun. Yeah, this is 99% stripped. That's kind of been the theme of the night. good down there so let's hop out and go collect our pile it's not too bad nice pile of wires a couple pieces of uh, steel that should make some fun stuff a little copper ring I'll set those over there with this guy and gather up all that first Okay. It's getting hot again. It's supposed to have over 107 next week, I think 107, 108 degrees. Thought we were done with that weather for this year, but apparently not. Look at that. Those would make cool knives if you knew how to do it. If you could heat it up hot enough. Whew. 
Alrighty. Oh, looks like we got a lot of HVAC stuff, which could be good. Oh, here's some wires. That's nice. I got the truck right here, right next to me, so I'll just toss it right in. And onto this side. Man, these dumpsters are blazing hot right now. Been baking in the sun all day. <sighs> hmm. Nothing. Well, at least we got a little bit of wire, right? Guess we'll check this one last. HVAC box down here. Just a bunch of steel. All right. This is the famous dumpster that legitimately always, always, has massive amounts of Pokemon cards in it. Oh, Don't know why, but like, look at this. Like these packs, they're not empty packages. It's They've been opened. Look over there. There's a whole oh bunch my of them. gosh, they're everywhere. Well, let's uh, add these to the collection. Just like little Pokemon there's pins. Do oh, do you want to add these little pins to our pin collection? Yeah, we can give them to That's a good idea. I'd probably like those. This little box there. Uh, need a bag. I know I need something, huh? Let's see what's in here. Oh, well, more Pokemon cards. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Oh, just grab one of those planters. Planters? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, hang on. Ugh. What do you think about this thing right there? That little nah. nah? Okay. Oh. Pokemon, Pokemon. You know, it's fun, but at this point, it's so predictable. Part of, part of the things that I love about dumpster diving is the mystery and the thrill of not knowing what you're gonna get. But I know if I come to this dumpster, I will get Pokemon cards. It's just, it's an inevitability. It's like Thanos, you know? I'm just so curious what's going on here. What card is this person hunting for? It must be some mega powerful card because they're determined to get it. Look at that. Nervous. Oh. Then I can open them with you at home and then I get to share <laughs> Those bags, those party bags under your legs. These? Do you think there's cards in them? all of this I think at this rate we could collect a, a deck that is good enough to go and enter in Pokemon championship duel, not championships but like local duels with at the gaming uh, stores and uh, oh boy 
Look at that, that's cool. Ah. Man, being in this little half squat is just destroying my legs. Look at all of this. Hundreds and hundreds of Pokemon cards every single time we're here. It almost... Say you are fearfully made. Yeah, something like that. Um, if I didn't, like, all right, so let me just say it like this. If I was watching somebody else's YouTube channel that were dumpster divers, and they went to the same dumpster every single week, and every single week there was hundreds of Pokemon cards in it, I would think that they were staging it for, like, clickbait or something like that. Because it just Sorry. looks totally staged. That every single time we're here, there are hundreds of cards in the dumpster. But, alas... We are not staging this. We are simply the participants in some grand game that we don't know the purpose of. Huh. The Gathering Storm. I can't do this anymore. Oh, it's a Brandon Sanderson book. I'll take that. That's cool. I love Brandon Sanderson. What is this? Memory of Light. Oh, wait a second. Robert Jordan. Is this Wheel of Time? I think Brandon Sanderson was asked to finish the series. Okay. Well, I think that's it. Let's get out of here. Dang, that smells so good. Legitimately smells like pizza back here. Like someone's gonna make a fresh Italian pizza. What'd you get, babe? Hang on, I'm gonna get my glove on. <laughs> I thought I saw something over here. Yeah, there's like a waffle maker. Look at that. There's a good little piece of scrap. Oh, there's a bunch of yard waste. I wonder if that's what we're smelling. <laughs> the oregano smell? Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, lots and lots of boxes. Too bad. Yeah, nothing. Oh, that's kind of cool. Little picture. Okay, well, this is the last dumpster of the night, guys. So let's go total up our cash that we made. So as you can see, we've got a few books here. These are, uh, I think this is uh, the uh, Wheel of Time series that uh, Brandon Sanderson helped uh Finish, but I'm not 100% sure because it doesn't say Wheel of Time on it on the outside, but maybe somewhere in here. I th yeah, there it is. Wheel of Time. So this is, we have four books from the Wheel of Time series. I don't know if we'll sell those, but we'll donate them. We've got a bunch of wire, probably $15 worth of wire. So there's a pile there, a little bits there, a little bits there, and then this here. This is uh, maybe another dollar worth of aluminum. This right here is a nice big aluminum wire worth a couple dollars, so that's probably $18. This right here will be another $3 of aluminum, $21. And then this will probably scrap for about $5, $26. Then we've got a little pile of brass and copper over there. That's probably $4, so we'll call that $30 so far. And then back over here, we got one more thing. This little pink basket, this maybe sell for a dollar, $31. And uh, you can see more of the wire here. Oh, and then the Pokemon cards, which are sitting right there. And so far we haven't sold any Pokemon cards, so I don't know if that will be anything. So we'll call this a $30 haul tonight. Not our best run, but it definitely paid for gas and a little bit extra. We had a good time, hope you did too. Please subscribe, love y'all, have a great day.